Now, the uh, British summer may have done wonders for the UK tourist industry, but in the old days, it says here when uh, you were a nipper, Duncan. Did you write that? <laughs> no, I didn't. There wasn't really much discussion about holiday destinations. In our region, so many Bradfordians went to Morecambe, it was known as Bradford by the Sea. Many others opted for our very own East Coast resorts for their seven-day dose of sun and sand. Well, they were cheap and cheerful then, but now one of those destinations is getting a makeover, as Carolyn Hodgson now reports. <laughs> This is Butlins in Filey back in the 60s, the golden age of the holiday camp. And this is how it looks today. A £120 million development. 900 holiday cottages and apartments will be built here over the next three years. But some things never change. It's really lovely. I remember coming here years ago when it was Woodlands. Um, lots of happy childhood memories, uh, and we're here again creating our own childhood memories, aren't we? And we're really enjoying it, aren't we, kids? For yes. our children. Oh, just look at the beaches. We love this this part of the world. It's beautiful. We can take our dog on the beach. We couldn't do that abroad. Well, this is our first time here, but we really love it. We've fallen in love with it, especially the beaches. What do you like, Lucy? The beaches. What about you, James? The two, but it's too good. Developer Wayne Lowe is behind the project. He's a Beverly lad and wanted to bring a little piece of his hometown to the holiday village. This is my folly. It's an exact replica of North Bar in Beverly that celebrates its 600th anniversary this year, and we're all very proud of it. That's all very well for Wayne, but he can keep his bricks and mortar. For me, my memories are down here on the beautiful beaches. Oh, I'm a Scarborough lass, born and bred, and I couldn't come so close to home and not get in 